The Department of National Defense is looking for a few good cyber experts to protect military vehicles from hackers. Apparently that's a growing concern for Canada's armed forces as more and more vehicles go online. CBC's Murray Brewster explains. The tender to train military technicians to spot and prevent vehicle hacking went out just recently and maybe just in time. Last year there was an exceptionally visceral demonstration. Israeli researchers managed to hack and stop a moving vehicle, killing the engine. They exploited a vulnerability in the system that uploads information about the state of the vehicle. Cybersecurity experts say the general public should not panic. The military and police and other government agencies are bigger targets. They face, according to one expert, a different class of adversary. A spokesman for DND wouldn't say if there have been any incidents like that. But a former defense official speaking on background said DND's concern runs somewhat deeper. Online hacking aside, there is concern about future cyber weapons such as Stuxnet, the computer worm that played havoc with Iran's nuclear program in 2010. It was the world's first digital weapon introduced without the internet. Understanding that vulnerability and how it relates to military vehicles is a priority, particularly with autonomous technology on the horizon. Murray Brewster, CBC News, Ottawa.